With the plastic bag right over this small sapling, you're going to collect all the water from these leaves. And this tree acts like a pump. It's actually pulling water out of the ground. So this way you're going to collect a lot more water. I'm just going to use this log here to get it nice and low so the water will run down into the bag there. Now, you do this early morning and you leave it all day. Around about sundown, you could have anything from a litre to two litres of water in the bottom of that plastic bag. Now this plastic bag's only been on here for three or four minutes. You can already see here, the water started to condense on the inside of the bag. You can see I've got quite a few of these plastic bags from yesterday spread around the bush. You need about 10 or a dozen of these to survive in a hot, arid environment because you've actually got to collect at least, I'll say, eight or 10 litres of water to survive. Look at all that water. Now this one hasn't been set up very well. You notice there's a lot of water collecting here. So I'm just going to tip that down there. You're going to be very tempted during the day to get this water out of here. It's best to leave your bag working all day. But if you really want to get that water out, I'll show you how you can do it. I've tied this bag off here so there's no leaves polluting the water. And what I've done is put a long plastic hose down there. And all I have to do now if I want to drink is just suck it up. Mmm, that's lovely and sweet. You may be concerned about toxins in the water. So what I suggest is you suck a little bit out. Don't swallow it. Just let it go on your tongue here. Wait a few minutes. If there's any stinging sensations, don't use this particular type of tree. If it tastes nice and sweet, like this water does, swallow it down. Wait about an hour, an hour and a half to make sure you don't have any bad reactions to it. If all sweet after an hour and a half, go for it. There is another way to get water out of the ground and out of plants, and that's to make a solar still. Now, solar still needs a lot more energy, and it's probably not as quite as efficient as the bags over the tree, but it's worth knowing how to do it. So what I need is a hole around about a metre in diameter there, and about half a metre deep. The advantage of this still is that you can use salt water, filthy, dirty, fresh water. You can even use urine. So we're going to put this in the still. Once I've got the hole dug, I've got to get the water in here and all my leaves. Now, I've just picked up a couple of pieces of old plastic. I'm going to line the bottom of the hole with this and a bag here to hold the water. And then I'm going to put all the leaves in right round on top of that. Now we'll just put the water in the plastic. The last thing I do before I put the plastic over the top of this is to place some sort of container in the hole to catch all the condensation. The next step is to put the plastic right over the hole and seal it in. This is the vital part. You should put a stone at the last point over the container. And you don't want too much of an angle on your plastic. And the idea is that as the condensation forms, it'll run down here and drip into the billy can. To make enough water to survive, you'd need quite a few of these. And you certainly don't want to do it in the middle of the day when it's really hot. Do it at night or first light when it's nice and cool so you're not sweating too much.
Hmm. That's pretty good. There's about half a litre in there. So, if you're going to survive out here, as I said earlier, you'd need quite a few of these. 